Hey everybody, uh, it turns out that uh, going live is a whole lot easier than editing multiple video streams. So with that said, um, today I actually filmed some stuff where I was working on my Raspberry Pi, which um, runs Raspbian. And what I was hopefully going to do was compile at the very least the CLI wallet for uh, SafeCoin. Now, I figured that in order to teach myself some stuff, um, I've already installed a Denarius um, a CLI wallet on a VPN, along with a few others, actually. I guess I've done a Shield testnet on a VPN, Dixie Coin, um, Global Token, Foam Coin, Giant Coin. I've set up a lot of master nodes on um, uh, VPNs, and so I, or VPS, excuse me. And so I thought, man, I can probably do that and figure out how to, using Discord here, figure out how I can use my Raspberry Pi and do some compiling. But right here, I'm going to show you the most critical part here. Right there, ARM HF. I think what I have learned is that uh, due to that being a 32-bit something or another, um, it won't compile any of the wallets. So Denarius D wouldn't, wouldn't, well, Denarius wouldn't compile to make a Denarius D. Um, I then decided, well, I'll just start over anyway and see if I can get safe coin. I've done a couple of images. So I, um, like I said, I videoed this earlier and I did a couple of different takes, but it's just, it's a lot easier, honestly, to live stream. So what I decided to do was just kind of go over what I did today and what worked and didn't work. And um, what worked was I figured out how to use uh, Etcher to create different um, images for the Pi. So that's actually pretty easy. As a matter of fact, I'll just switch back right now and show you on the Macintosh is where I've been using Etcher. And it's super, super easy. All you do is, oops, all you do is pick your image file and then you select your destination and you flash. It takes just a couple of minutes. It's uh, pretty easy. So I've actually had to do a couple of those because I reflash it after I install all the different dependencies and everything like that onto the Raspberry Pi. And then I kept having it fail in different places and I'm not quite sure that I know enough to fix this problem. However, I can tell you that it's going to be a project even to do a command line uh, wallet on the Raspberry Pi. So I'm hoping that I know a lot of my followers or people that are going to watch this are also SafeCoin um, uh, followers and part of that. And I know a lot of you guys are smarter than I am, especially when it comes to Linux. So hopefully some of you guys have some ideas and, and maybe we can um, work this out together. I know Archimedes has been working on a safe coin compile as well. Um, and Eternity, I know he, or I'm pretty sure he's had to compiled, but I don't know if it ever ran. So I've been looking into different operating systems for the Raspberry Pi other than Raspbian, but it turns out I think they're all based on the same Debian and Ubuntu um, backstop background or base so um, and right now none of them seem to be the full 64 arm 64 um, uh, core so to speak again I don't know enough about Linux to talk knowledgeably about that so that's what I've been doing all day well not all day but for definitely for several hours and um, I mean if you scroll back just on this last time I did all my different command line stuff. I mean, that's all bash stuff, compiling it, trying to figure out where the problems come in. Let me get rid of that background. It's kind of overexposing. So um, anyway, so the bottom line is that didn't work out. So I think that the key to having a good day in crypto, especially when you do a podcast of crypto and whiskey, I think we should talk about Knob Creek Cask Strength Rye Whiskey. Brand new bottle, um, barreled in 2009. So uh, limited release this year. I'm kind of kind of thinking of not opening it, but I don't know. Maybe 
It's too bad I can't record this at the same time because it would be pretty awesome to be able to make another actual review of Knob Creek Whiskey. But uh, this is a cask strength, 119.6 proof. And I mean, well, it's really, it's well, well done. It's well designed. Uh, they've done a nice job with the label. I know it's just, just Knob Creek, but that's a decent whiskey to begin with. Um, and they've just got a simple, simple design here. So I'm going to go ahead and make a mess breaking off this wax here. Nice. The cork sealed real well with wax. And we'll open up our cask strength. Wow, that is in there. A little bit slippery from the wax, too. There we go. I bet you heard that, especially with my nice Sure microphone. So here we go. The first pour. Not going to be shy. That was a long day in crypto. So, oh yeah, for you guys that care, I don't know. Somebody else should comment in here too what the legs mean and why I care. Oh wow, that's that's definitely uh, you can tell that's a real high alcohol content. It's pretty dang good though. This might be worth having again. So, I think I'm going to have to add a little bit of water to it. I uh, sometimes do that, especially with the higher proof, higher proof alcohol, higher proof whiskey. So, in the meantime, let's go back over here, see if I can figure out anything useful on our Linux build here. If you guys know anything about Linux, I'd like to know if there's a different desktop I can run on this too. Um, I like to run Linux Mint, and I like that that um, GUI a lot better, or whatever you call it, that uh, X Windows system. I, this uh, this setup that Ras Raspbian has isn't the greatest. Let's see here. I'm gonna go to YouTube real quick and pull up. Kevin Muldoon, you should watch this guy. He uh, talks a lot about crypto, and he knows a lot about Safecoin, and he knows a lot about podcasts. I've already subscribed to him on mine, on my this since this is a fresh install, of course. So I'm going to leave you with how to build a cryptocurrency mining web for a couple of seconds. So that's Kev's crypto channel. You should definitely subscribe. And uh, I added about six drops of water to this, so I'm gonna see how that opens it up and changes it. Oh man, that's good. It really makes it a lot oakier. You can taste the barrel and the oak. And uh, takes away that heat. But it also takes away the caramel and the vanilla, which I kind of got when that first sip, so. With that said, I think I can, rec I can recommend this one. This one's better than the, the Smoke Wagon and better than the first whiskey I reviewed, which I noticed somebody commented that it's, um, that they just barrel other people's stuff and I didn't look closely enough at it. And I will definitely do that uh, later. I already finished the bottle. Uh, it was a couple weeks ago, so cut me some slack. I, I already finished the bottle, so I don't know. Um, I, I, I don't know how I'm going to look it up unless I just Google it, I guess. So, um, yeah, I guess that's about it. My sh live stream is going to be cut short. I'm going to go down and I've got a tri-tip that's cooking right now. So I better go check that out. And that was Traverse City Whiskey. So I uh, might be done with Traverse City thanks to, to, thanks to the, the comments that I learned. Um, if it's true, I... Probably won't buy any more of it. 
I'm looking that up right now. Give me one second here. Where are the comments? Why can't I see my comments? See, I hate it when you guys have to listen to that. Ah, Lando8885. He told me that uh, Traverse City makes none of its whiskey. So Lando885, thanks for that heads up. And um, if I learn anything more, I'll let you guys all know. Awesome. So don't forget to subscribe and share my channel. And Kev, I know you'll watch this. So eventually I'll start making enough of these that you should go ahead and link me on your your channel and stuff. And I'll do the same for you once I feel like I'm a legit YouTuber. All right. See y'all.